Connolly, a phenomenal college player that helped Minnesota Duluth win a championship. We're going to have a fight on the end wall as they back away. We're trying to identify who this is. It's McKelvey in there taking some shots from Hurd. Those two trading. McKelvey trying to line up a right. He's been on the receiving end of most here, but hanging in. McKelvey's got him in a bit of a headlock. Will he switch to lefts? Yes, he does. Trying to pull the helmet off of Hurd, and he has. McKelvey now looking to get a right in. This is more of a bear hug. The linesman moving in, and as they get to the glass in the corner, McKelvey wrestled his man to the wall, but some early shots from Hurd. Not sure how I'd uh, judge that one, Vonnie, but a spirited tilt for both sides. Yeah, looking to gain some energy there. That happened uh, just off to the left of goaltender Barry Bruss. Two guys, Zach McKelvey and Mitchell Hurd, about the same size. Hurd 6'1", McKelvey 6'2". The pounds not too much off of each other, but uh, not a big fight. Not uh, a couple of guys that you would uh, normally see in tussles after the whistle. They do have one of those tonight in the form of Patrick uh, Bortolo. He is a huge man, as we mentioned. Breen is the only guy in his neighborhood. And the way Chris Breen's playing, I don't know if you want him to lose five minutes in the box just to scrap a guy who pretty much scraps for a living. Yeah, and Bortolo can easily take you off of uh, any momentum that you may gather and put uh, the other team in a good position with a man.